Yeah, so today's little project is, uh, well, we're going to make a humongous mess. Under this thing, I'm going to change the uh, trans uh, seals, transmission filter, and uh, fluid. So, yep. Yeah. So we're probably going to have a nice big mess on the floor right away here. Uh, I got some floor dry, almost ready to go. Got my parts, got the filters, and uh, yeah, we're going to change that too. Got the mount changed as well. And uh, yeah, so here we go. Let's get dirty. Well, while things are uh, making a bit of a mess here, shall I let it shower? I did the drain. I often wondered what, because uh, you know, it's always a question of mine. Even back in the '90s, and remember I was really messing around with a lot of dodges. In the back of the transmission by the uh, drive shaft, there's a, a mount of some sort with this uh, big chunk of steel on it. Now, I'm a Dodge guy, and I've done a lot of Dodge stuff, but yet I have no idea what this thing is. So all my time playing and messing around with Dodges, I never knew what I understood, or never knew what this uh, thing actually does on the back of the transmission. Big chunk of steel, anyway. So hopefully somebody knows what that is, because uh, I probably won't be putting it back on. We shall see. Also, I finally, uh, you know, I ran into my first snag. Got myself my new mount here from uh, from Rock Auto. And the problem is, it doesn't fit the hole. So that's a little bit too small. So I'm gonna have to ream that out, either with a drill. A drill bit hopefully and uh, hopefully I don't have to use a drill press or anything but yeah so I gotta ream that out so this bolt would actually fit in there the old one well it's just starting to go as you can see it goes in nice it's very close though uh, this here is a much heavier duty uh, mount like bracket wise Compared to uh, this thing, made in Korea, it's probably why it's smaller. Because it's probably, uh, you know, it's probably metric. I'm gonna say. I mean, whatever. Is what it is. So I gotta modify that. But I'm not gonna throw this one out because, like I said, this is heavier duty. Obviously, has the right size. You can get the kit. You can get a kit to uh, rebuild this. So that I'm going to keep around. I'm going to put that out to the side and do something with that later. But in the meantime, while that's uh, making a huge mess on the uh, floor and everywhere else, doesn't smell too burnt. Still got a still got a red reddish tinge to it. I just don't know how old it is or how many uh, miles are on that fluid, but. That's why we're changing it, because uh, a lot of the unknown is with this car. So, continuing on, let's go ream this thing out. Oh yeah, baby. Well, they just announced on the radio that there is going to be a 60% chance, chance of rain. Now, it's been raining since about 4.35 o'clock in the morning. And it is now almost 9 o'clock. And they're still saying there's a chance of rain. <laughs> but I guess this is what a chance of rain looks like in Manitoba. Anyways, I'm here at the uh, great old Penner Auctions. I got some stuff I'm gonna probably sell. And I got a bunch of models here. Some good old plastic. 
I'm also going to sell off the old radio. Hopefully I'll get a better picture of it after. But you, you have a chance to own something that I owned at uh, PennerAuction.com coming up, the next auction. I think it's in August. It's going to be a good one. I didn't bring a car. I don't have anything ready yet. Still working on paperwork. I would have had something probably uh, lined up. So maybe, maybe later on or next year or whatever. We'll see. But yes, you, you can own something that I used to own. Hey. I know some people are into those. Akara! Huh? Bald in motion. Chevelle. There's a couple, there's a few of them on there, so keep your eye open for that. Later. Ooh, that's pretty. The fish. The original size reproduction of Manitoba's biggest sturgeon weighing 406 pounds. My goodness. Wouldn't that be something? Jeez, 1903. Oh my, horses and everything. Jeez. That would have been a monster, all right. Wonder how old it was. What do we got over here? Ooh. First railway. Cool, 1878. Yeah, cool. Oh, we're here. 